Hello everybody, I'm back. Yes, I am back. And um, as you can see in front of you, we're gonna be doing some art today. So let's get started. So you probably have read from the title that um, I will be doing an all red supply challenge. So pretty much I have to use every single one of my red art supplies and I can't use any other color. So I have all of them, these red ones, these red paints, these markers, pencils, and pens. So the first one I'm going to use is this pencil for the sketch and yeah. I'm trying to like think of red thing. Paper. I'm trying to think of something. So we know that apples. Maybe like maybe a person. Let's. So here is what I came up with on the paper. So let's put this to the side and let's start right here. Also, whenever I finish with my supply, I'm going to take it and put it to the other side so that I know I'm finished with it. I can also go back. I think I'm gonna make that rule that if I need to use that again, I can. Because if I don't, I'm probably gonna miss like a bunch of stuff. So let's just get on with the sketch. There's not going to be much fixing yet. These are not erasable. But I bet I could try and erase it with one of these. I just need to get these. Erase this. Oh. It actually can. Like, sort of. Pretty well. Alright. That's cool. So we're just going to put that right there. And move on with our lives. It's not, I'm not sure about this hair. <laughs> I'm gonna kind of redo the bottom part of it. Her hair's gonna like halfway cover up her eye. So I'm gonna like try to like make the base of an eye, like right here. I draw big eyes. <laughs> I don't want it to be smaller. I don't want I to be like smaller. Then I want to have her to have like a big eye with her pupil in it. For uh, correctness. Mm -hmm. Usually I'm just gonna kind of fill in the hair just so you can see the hair kind of better so I can see how the hair is more gonna look like and don't worry because if I can't erase it I mean it's gonna be red anyways I mean I don't know if you could tell but I only have red art supplies so far I actually like the sketch like mostly all except for her eye right here but i feel like i'm gonna more fix that later i honestly kind of see her wearing like a school uniform like i don't know i just see it i just see like school uniform vibes for this girl I just realized you guys can't really see what I'm doing at the bottom. Here, that's my bad. I don't have a big enough camera space. 
right here. I'll try to get it fixed in the future though. But for now, I think that's good. I'm going to put this to the side and I'm going to move on to this front liner, which may be broken. So we're gonna, oh yeah, that's, Yeah, that's broken, so you know what? We're not going to do this one. I'm going to put it up and try to remember to throw it in the trash and instead use this school grading pen to outline it. I'm going to also do the eye. I want her to make, I want it to make her look as if she's kind of tired, you know? She's, she's just done with life, okay? She just, sick of the world i don't know if that helps but yeah i think i'm done with that um what should i do next here let's go i'm gonna go with this red just gonna make this one the skin color for her just kind of draw lightly and then I have some other dark ones over here that I can use to shade with. So we're just going to go with that. But, okay, this might have been a mistake. <gasps> Let's, well, got to commit to it now. She's giving off sad vibes because of the eyebrows. Like, I drew those in the wrong position, and now she just looks so sad. And let's go in with this for shading. I just hit the camera, didn't I? Yes, I did. <laughs> and I like that this color for the skin is super light, so I can use, like, hard shading and dark shading with this pencil here. I think I'll be done with this for now. I'm going to go to this pencil, and I'm just going to fill in the eye right here. Okay, I'm actually starting to like it now. I mean, obviously it's not the best so far, but starting to like it better. I'm going to fill in the eyebrow, and since this is dark enough, I'm going to change the shape from my mess up. I think that that's good for now. I have one more colored pencil. I'm just gonna use it to fill in her bow tie. So, yeah. All right, now I'm gonna move on to the hair, the luscious hair. Yes. Um, I'm gonna do coral pink for the hair um we're gonna do this i like coral pink I'm gonna do it and then i'm going to finish it off with another different color i'm going to be a lot more in my element here because these are the main markers i work with alcohol markers i use a who a who who a who i have no clue how to pronounce the name This color is such a, it's like a dark, it's called gera geranium. It's a pretty color. Let's do better on that. Um, trying to fix it down here. Did an all right job, I think. <laughs> It doesn't fade into other colors very well. And normally, I, the colors I do use for hair do. So I'm like, it's like I'm confused. I'm like, what the heck is going on with this color? There's the hair. I mean, I'm actually going to go back with this pencil to fill in the hair a little bit. Because this hair is kind of, <laughs> it's a little sus, not going to lie. <laughs> Need some work. Auto fell. Yet, yet again, it was this black paint fell. But yeah, moving on to the clothing, I'm gonna use this pink because 
Um, because I'm weird, yeah. That's why. Okay, I'm like already regretting my decisions of using this paint, but let's just... I think I'm just going to do kind of like a background for them. Okay. I don't know if this counts as red. I think this counts as brown, but you know what? We already put it on the paper, so we're continuing with it, alright? Now let's do like a cool background. I think that's like almost all because like as you can see, <laughs> she she's not doing so good. She's not doing so well. If you look at the bottom. <laughs> Poor Vermillion. Jeez. That sucks. That's rough, buddy. My first girlfriend turned into the moon. That's rough, buddy. This one's deep red. It's like almost the exact same color. Dang. I never used deep red. Like, never. But this, like, this looks so cool. I have to do like a background of something. I can't just leave it blank. <laughs> like I normally do with my drawings. Like normally the drawings is like an outline and that's it. Oh, and my, the exact same one. The black dropped again. again. Now we have three paints left we have this one which is a dark red but it is red flamenco red is what it says this is red apple we have bright red and then kimio pink but you know I'm, we're not gonna do this uh, this will go up here we're not gonna do that one because it's pink it's not red it's pink so yeah it okay yeah it's wet but <laughs> yeah i'm just gonna leave it on the table and kind of push it up this was the bottom part that you guys didn't get to see because y'all was blind 
But yes, this is it. This is the workspace I was working with. Well, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what other challenges or challenges or just art videos you want me to try out. It can be anything from like pottery making to landscape paintings. Doesn't matter to me. Uh, I can do anything. <laughs> I'll do anything you guys want me to do. So, yep. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Okay, how do I... Okay. Do I do it like this? Just like this. Uh, goodbye.